Good morning guys, this is Leo again. So I'm gonna give you the final steps of what I do after I box the house. So we went through and we boxed the house. Now as I was explaining with the butt joints, I box both sides. I do them with a 10 on zero and I do them with a 12 on one. I also in between my 10 inch box and my 12 inch box, I'll center them with a 10 and then I come back and I finally center them again with a 12. Now, after I box a house, of course we spot all the screws. You can see the screws are all spotted. And uh, what I'll do is I'll run all my corner beads. This ties everything together. It ties the entire box coat together with the beads. And then when I run my beads, I'll center my butts and we'll pick the three ways, okay? Now, this is what I've done this morning and I've already started sanding downstairs. So these beads I ran yesterday and I finished them up over here. And as we're going through, you know, running these beads and picking those three ways up there, we run the no coats at the same time we run the beads. And after everything's, after everything's pretty much set up, the corner beads, you can come back and just pick a little angle and it makes it perfect. Now, we go through and we get all the blemishes. We get any boxes that are messed up. I see there's one right here. We missed a little bit. So I'll touch that up on the point up phase. Um, we'll sand this house now. And then I'll go through and give it a complete full detail after it's sanded. When I'm sanding, I mark everything. There's the bad butt joint I took a video of a few days ago. It's still got a little hump in the middle, a little bit. I mean, this thing was horrible. You can see it right there a little bit. I'll sand that down and then uh, feel it after it's sanded. I've got a lot of mud on it. But when our houses are finished, if you use the system that I'm explaining, you'll have minimal touch-ups. I mean, there might, there's gonna be a couple. This is a big house. This thing is, it's a big one. But uh, you'll have minimal work. You know, run the box, wipe it down, go through, make sure everything's hit. Make sure your three ways are picked real nice. You know, make sure they're clean. It makes it really, really easy to sand. If you've got that three way looking nice up there. Now, by the time I get up here, the downstairs of this house is, is the biggest portion. But uh, by the time I get up here, this stuff will be dry and I can easily just go across it. And uh, I'm using a Festool hooked to a, uh, a rigid vacuum cleaner. And it makes, it makes for a real nice sanding job. But I might not get here till tomorrow. I don't know. It's, a, it's like I said, it's a lot of house for one man to sand. And uh, I'll show you downstairs here real quick what I've sanded already. And I'll show you my setup. Now see, this has been sanded here. Just with the machine. I didn't do anything. I haven't done anything with the... Uh, by hand, I'll go through and I'll machine everything. Now, I machine the sidewalls. I did not. I did not do the. Uh, I did not do the ceiling yet. But if you look down this wall, you know I'm not. I'm not sanding hard. Even though you see a little bit of bevel here, it's still perfectly flat. I sand all the way up into the angle. And then I'll come back with a light and I'll hand sand all the, uh, all the angles and I'll make sure there's no goobers on the wall. A lot of this here is dust. It's just on the drywall from itself, but I'll sand all my side walls first. Then I'll come through and uh, hop on my short stilts and sand out the ceiling. And then I'll start sanding the ceiling angles coming down. And as I go, let me see if I can find a spot. As I go, I'll mark things like this, okay? So I missed this little bit of angle right here. I'll put a mark on it with the back of my four inch knife. Now that allows me, that tells me where, the, where there's some touch up needed. And I'll just hit it. Like there's a screw right here. This screw was only hit twice. When you feel it, you can feel a little bump in it. So I put a little X there so I can hit it. That's my sanding process now to finalize this house. And I'll come back and just <laughs> scrape the floors, sweep the floors, and then touch up, uh, sand up my 
little bit of point up that I have and when I'm done, I don't have to return to a house. Anyway, you guys have a good day and uh, I'll talk to you later. Thank you.